I want to I want to make a motion to amend the uh, police line item that we just passed uh, by adding thirty thousand dollars, and I want to speak briefly to that. Okay. Right, second. Do we have a second? I'll second. Danielle seconded it. Okay. <coughs> so discussion, Jim. Yeah, I think that uh, Chief has told us that he's looking at cost efficiency here. Uh, that would actually be almost saving money. That's um, mine. I don't. I. I wish I could tell you, show you that on paper, but knowing what the person in charge would be, Dave, and I just think it would be more cost efficient. And, and given my confidence in the chief general opinion, although there are things that we disagree on. And that's okay. Um, I still like you. I am making that motion. <laughs> I thank you for the second. Uh, even though I would note that the outside agency line, which I'm sure you've been waiting for me to speak to. I knew you were going to get there. I knew. So please let me just make the statement while I'm adding to your budget, okay? Thank you. Even though in 2016 we had zero dollars allocated for outside agencies because that money was spent out of the properly spent out of the police and fire detail fund. And then subsequently last year, we allocated $30,000 to it. And yet today, as of September 30th, we've already spent over that $43,900. And now for this year's budget, you're asking for $40,000, which completely is something you and I totally disagree on. Yes. We had that discussion. Tim, Tim, wait, extent wait. slash. However, Tim, Tim, I'm, I'm, I'm making I'm making no, no, a statement on my motion. Uh, what In are you spite of what line are you talking about right now? Talking the outside agency. Yes. Okay, we were we were. Oh. I'm making reference to the outside agency regarding my motion. Okay. Even what? though I believe that he could take that thirty thousand dollars that I'm asking to add. Tim, just tell me where you are in the in the budget. I can't find that. Well, there's not a page number on that. It's uh, line from the service. Four two, yeah, four two one zero five three three one zero. Oh yes, it's right here. Okay, thank you very much. I I just you know you're jumping around and I couldn't follow you. Thank you. Continue on, please. Even though I do believe there are other sources of money for you to get this consultant with. I understand. Um, and in spite of our disagreement on this, I still want to add the thirty thousand dollars. I want to be sure that you get that that consultant because I think it makes sense. Thank you, I appreciate that. I would, I would like you to give further consideration to my arguments about the outside agency line item in the future, and I'll just leave it at that. So we don't have to have a big discussion about that. Okay? Anybody else? At some point if you yeah, want. we can enjoy it offline as we yeah, have some time. Sure. Anybody else like to speak on this particular motion, Steve? Well, just the outside agencies, that's bringing in the outside offices for the yeah. summer, you know, when they need them. I guess my only thing is, is, you know, I guess, how do we make out the summer as far as bringing state police in? Because, you know, my feelings that they uh, yeah. and, should and, be assisting and helping us out. I yeah. couldn't agree with you more, Steve. had a budget that didn't come out of the uh, taxpayers of Hampton. It came out of their budget, so it was great for years. But yeah. as budgets um, get tightened, they pulled away. But how did that work out? A lot of things transpired in the spring because they, they run a fiscal budget and when they were developing the, the state budget, um, there were some legislators that apparently have never come down to our neck of the woods and wanted to entirely cut that line item for the state police budget for the Hampton Beach details. And what was transfer, uh, transferred to me from the Assistant Commissioner of Safety, uh, Bobby Quinn, was that there were people that didn't realize that everything east of Ocean Boulevard was a state park and state property. They didn't understand that. So that almost got cut completely. And uh, at the last second, it was salvaged. And there was actually a little extra money put into it. So there was funding there. It's not a funding issue. It's just like everybody else's deal. They're just a little bit bigger than us dealing with the same problem. They're shorthanded. And the folks that are coming into the workforce today, they just, and again, this is not a good or bad assessment. This is not a judgment of the workforce coming in today. It's, they have a different mindset. Back in the day, this gentleman here, me, guys, we worked, we'd work 50, 60 hours a week, week after week after week after week. Because when there was work, you went to work, the extra. Today, they don't, they don't look at it that way. They value their off time, their social time better than more than we did 
we host uh, classes at the, at the police department under the FBI leadership group, and they talk extensively about dealing with the modern workforce. In the modern workforce, not just the police departments, but you talk to anybody in the business world, you bring somebody that's a millennial just coming out of college, that era, they do good work. I don't mean to demonize them or uh, belittle the work they do. When they're there, they do great work. We're very demanding about what we, for our quality. But they don't want to work 50 hours a week. They want to work 40, 42, but if you tell them they have to stay and, and hold them over, they have a different reaction than people of a couple generations before, a generation or two before. It's just different. So the state police is subject to the same problem. If they offer extra work, voluntary work, and nobody takes it, that means nobody's coming. So we did experience weekends where we had little to no state police support simply because they didn't have it. It's not a, an issue of the state police not being sympathetic or supportive to the Hampton Police Department. I've never seen the relationship better between us and the state police, quite frankly, because of what we're all experiencing. It's cost us all to work better together. That's why when we went to the program of bringing in officers from other towns, I know in the past there was people that questioned the wisdom of that or, or the safety of that. We work so much with our neighbors now that we all know each other pretty well. We do common training. We host uh, crowd control training down at Hampton PD that we want those PDs to come to before they come to work down there with us. It's just one of those things. We're all working with less, so we have to consolidate our assets when we have those peak periods. So it's not unusual to see officers from Hampton working at events in other towns up and upping at the Speedway. And when they have a big event, we go up and work that. UNH, we go up and work UNH issues. They come here and work for us. Um, it's just the way of the world today. If we could use state troopers that weren't costing us money out of the taxpayers, I would. It's just not available. What's the average, the, uh, the low end and the high end of what we're paying from the outside, you know, coming in? I'd have it's to re detail rate probably, correct? I'd have to research that for you. Um, the primary town agency we use are UNH, Epping, Exeter, Greenland, Seabrook occasionally, but Seabrook's got the same problem. They have so much work over there, they can't fill it. It's hard for them to justify coming over the bridge to work with us. So I could try to find that for you. That'd be great for the next yeah. one. The other thing, I guess, uh, just to throw out what's going on around the country here, I know uh, I was in Portland, Maine yesterday for an event uh, for the little boy there that's dying of cancer, and I know talking to the, uh, one of the deputies up there, he was telling me they were offering a 10,000 bonus just to get the police officers to come up and work. Uh, Westbrook, Maine, down in Texas, I saw something today, $25,000 bonus if you want to laterally transfer in. So across the country, it's universal right now as far as trying to get police officers on, you know, to work and to get, you know, the employment out there. So it's tight, not just in Hampton. It's, it's a universal. It's across the country right now. You know, I think that, um, I think that it's interesting uh, living at the beach and in the last, I think, two years, you've been bringing in um, details from other towns and they, they wear their uniform, they bring their own vehicle with yep. them. And uh, I think I think it's great. Personally, um, I think in the past, I might be wrong, um, you, you used to try to hire um, people just for the summer and or end up training them and then they go to another department somewhere else. Mr. Just Cameron, can you get back to the motion, please? <clears throat> Anybody else have anything to say about this motion specifically, about the motion of adding $30,000? Uh, 